Well, Doug asked me to um, share with you some of the things that you're going to be seeing happening at our campuses in the next year. So I'm going to talk about uh, the two campuses that I know best, which is the Siena campus, our tertiary facility, and our Rose de Lima campus. Um, in the next year, actually by August or not, if not before, you're going to see some openings of portions of our tower. Uh, for the last two years, we've been in the process of building a new 107-bed patient care tower. Um, we are on schedule. Uh, thanks to the construction team that's here tonight, we've got Mike, Mike, and Steve. So if you've got any questions, details about the construction, they, they can tell you. Um, the, for many, many years, the Siena campus has been underbedded, and one of our challenges is, not, is meeting that demand um, with a lack of capacity. So this will help us serve our community much better than we have been. Um, this is a five-story tower. The first floor is our emergency department. Our emergency department currently has 26 bays, we'll have 56 bays, so we'll be more than doubling emergency department services. We planned this intentionally because of the changes that are happening with healthcare reform. Um, we've got expanded operating room suites on our second floor, expanded ICU. Uh, we're very focused on cardiovascular services, a separate entrance for heart patients. Um, joint replacement is going to continue to be a, a major service as all of us age and need joint replacements. On our fifth floor, we're actually going to shell it, which means that we won't complete it because the plans are calling by the year 2020 that we will be at capacity again, believe it or not. Um, by the time the project is completed, we actually complete the project in early 2016, but we expect the patient tower to be opened by October of this year. When we're fully staffed and have both the existing tower and the new tower open, we'll have to hire additional about 700 staff to staff both sides of that. So you're gonna see that coming on board this year. We're very excited, we're very pleased to work with Kitchell. They're doing a great job for us. Um, and I've had a number of tours right now. It's, it's beautifully designed, very consistent with the mission of our Adrian Dominican Order, incorporating sunlight and nature and beauty into a healing environment. Um, the other hustle I wanted to mention is um, Rose de Lima campus. So Siena is a tertiary facility. It's a trauma center. It's hearts. It does very high acuity uh, type of procedures. So if you get in an accident, uh, you could potentially go to Siena. And we save lives. There is no doubt that a trauma center saves lives. But it's really through rehab services that you get your life back. Because when you leave a trauma center, you, after a major accident, you may not be able to brush your teeth or comb your hair, but it's through rehab services that you get your life back. And as we were looking at what we could do with Rose de Lima that would really enhance the services in the community, it became very evident that there is no center of excellence in our area for rehab services. And we began to search and we find the, found the closest area, the closest rehab center of excellence was Craig Hospital in Denver. So we visited Craig Hospital. Turns out about 50% of their patient population comes from out of state. Um, rehab patients that go to Craig because they have such specialized services. And the focus has always been on tertiary. I can tell you that there is so much happening in the science of rehab. Spinal cord patients, that can gain function back, that can start to walk again. Brain injured patients, we have trauma centers in our area, and when patients get injured, there's really no place for them to go for a center of excellence except out of state. And we're very confident that Rose de Lima campus and that rehab center can be a center of excellence and draw patients from across the country. We've seen Craig do it. We've got many services consistent now with Craig Hospital. We've got great technology and great equipment. Um, I want to point out Stacy Roach, who's here. She's going to be joined. Stacy's joining our team. 
Stacy has firsthand experience on Rehab Hurt. She's just a wealth of knowledge on rehab services. She's going to be joining us at Rose, and I'm really excited to have her on board. Um, and again, this is going to be great for medical tourism and bringing in patients from across the country. Um, and I've got Stacy, uh, I've got Sharon Kelly here for rehab services or for home health. Um, when you talk about integrated health care services, you need to have care provided in the home. We're seeing much more care being pushed into the community, having a very vibrant, well, um, excellent care in home health services is part of what we do at our Rose de Lima campus and as part of St. Rose. So thank you all for being here tonight. Very excited about the future. Um, we've got a great opportunity here and appreciate all of your support as we move forward this year. Thank you. Thank you.